Hurricane Irma is pounding the U.S. state of Florida. It's losing some strength now, but it's still packing winds and rain strong enough to cause uh, devastation. With more on this and other news from around the world, let's turn to our Noah Adam. Uh, Adam, Irma is now wreaking havoc on the U.S. mainland after battering large parts of the Caribbean. Just how bad is the damage so far? Well, Mark, Irma is bringing coastal flooding and winds of about 175 kilometers per hour now, which is less than last week, but still strong enough to do significant damage. Nearly two and a half million people are without power, and several people are reported to have been killed. That is on top of the 25 or so people left dead in the Caribbean. The southern parts of Florida have seen trees being uprooted, and streets are now looking more like rivers. More than six million people have been told to evacuate, with warnings of what officials are calling a life-threatening storm surge. Cuba has also been hit with waves as high as 11 meters flooding parts of the capital, Havana. Parts of Miami are underwater, including the city's financial district and the eye of the storm. Now, a Category 2 has descended on Marco Island and Naples. Other cities, including Tampa and St. Petersburg, are also in Irma's crosshairs. President Donald Trump, meanwhile, has approved a major disaster declaration to help Florida recover from the hurricane.